the next segment uh, or next match, a couple segments, this may have been one of the best things they ever did on television, on AEW. Some way or another, Jeff Jarrett's only been there, what, a month, and already he's gotten a wrestling match and a wrestling finish on the broadcast, something I thought was impossible. It was for the AEW tag team title, Lethal and Jarrett against the acclaimed. And, of course, Sanjay and Zippy were right along ringside. And let, let me get a piece of Caster's rap out of the way first. Uh, can, you, can you give me any kind of a beat? Oh, yeah, Brian, hold, on. Or... hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got one of these. No, this doesn't work. Hold on. Oh, well, well, wait a minute. Sounded like chopsticks. That's not, that's... That's not, that's not a beat. That's the theme to the Twilight Zone. Okay, that's a little bit of a beat. All right, no, no, you just, 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 just stop it. Oh, my God. You're giving me convulsion. I'm going into seizures. All right. You want to go um, acapella? I'll go acapella. Or even to an archipelago <laughs> to get away from you. <laughs> hey, Jeff, your wife better say less. She's getting dragged online worse than Skip Bayless. A claim will hit you harder. You're going to take the L and blame it on Dixie Carter. That's what he said. I don't know how I could have put that to fucking Zamfir's Pan Flute's greatest hits there. But anyway, remember I, I've talked about when FTR had the match with the Acclaim. You think, okay, FTR is the best tag team in wrestling right now in the ring. You would think they would have the best match with anybody. But no, because here is FTR's one weakness. They overestimate the ability of their opponents to follow them and to follow them in the proper timing and fashion to make it look anywhere near appropriate. They get too complicated with everybody because they think that they can lead them through it. And inevitably, the other team ends up looking at some point like a lost ball in high weeds. But here, obviously, this was Jeff Jarrett's match. I mean, seriously. He evaluated not only how to get the most excitement out of his television time, how to do a job again without actually doing a job. But in this case, it was called for because they're the new tag team in town. And you don't want to just go beating the fuck out of them flat in the middle right away. The acclaimed are over. So you want to accentuate their strengths and at the same time, try to get some heat off of their, you know, their, their overness and you want to keep people's attention and not run off and leave them where they look sloppy. And that's exactly and that caster's got the thing going with Jeff because of the tweets and Karen being involved and et cetera, et cetera. So all through the match, they've already got the story going of yeah, Jeff slapping caster in the face, caster trying to get back at him, slap him in the face. They want to get in with each other. Jeff doesn't want to. They they worked over at the start, the acclaimed shine and work over lethal a little bit. And then they got the chance to double team Jeff a time or two. And he'd scoot out. And then they got Billy Gunn kicked out of ringside, going to the break because lethal slid out and nailed him. And he tried to get in the ring and the referee didn't see the previous thing, but saw him trying to get in the ring and ejected him. So we got chaos at the break and controversy. It, the first segment was all wrestling, no gymnastics. It was all wrestling moves and or psychology. And they come back, they're getting heat on Bowens. Caster's working for the tag. Lethal misses an elbow off the top. Jeff knocks Caster off the apron and blocks the tag. And Bowens belly to backs Jeff then, boom, and gets the tag. It wasn't a hot one because, again, somebody... Could have covered it with Bowens that all he had to do from that belly to back was be disoriented and roll to the neutral corner and try for a tag and let uh, Jeff, well, he was, he was, no, he was going to tag too. So let Jeff get the tag first to lethal and then roll for it and get a hot tag. But instead it, he was right in front of it. He was too close to 
Caster, but the people popped because they want to see Caster. Caster made a nice comeback. Cross-bodied lethal off the top rope. Jeff made the save. Slapped Caster in the face. Caster gets on top of Jeff. He needs work on his punches, but the enthusiasm was there. And then they go to double team lethal and Jeff pushes Caster off the top to the floor. They hit Bowens with a double team, get a two count. But Zippy the pinhead's at ringside. He hits Caster on the floor and the referee kicks him out of ringside. And here come a bunch of referees to take out the giant nine foot radioactive mutant, whatever the fuck. So now people are up like all this shit's going on. Jay Lethal goes for the lethal injection on Bowens, but Bowens foils that. But Jeff hits the stroke on Bowens from behind. Lethal covers. Jeff gets out. The referee turns around. One, two. Bowens' leg goes up on the bottom rope, but Dutt knocks it off. Three. Oh, my God. They've won the belts. Holy shit. The people are going, what the fuck's going on? But here comes Ref Aubrey. And she explains what happened to the referee in the ring. She goes, Will you and stop instantly it? he, I'm sorry, he knew. <laughs> and he tells the announcer and the announcer, ladies and gentlemen, this match will be restarted. And that's where I wrote, God damn, Jeff already has got an actual wrestling match and a finish and an angle on his fucking show already. And immediately the heels go to Bowens. The the compromised baby face, and they get on him, but he foils them and super kicks Jeff, who goes to the floor, and lethal schoolboys Bowens from behind and puts his feet on the ropes, try for another fuck finish, but as the referee slides in to count and doesn't see that, Caster pushes the feet off, and he goes into Bowens' roll-up, one, two, three. Holy sh that's the way you build a finish. That's the way you build a match. That's the way you get... A young baby face tag team that's a little bit green but has a lot of fucking enthusiasm and a lot of people that like them, that's the way you get them over. And at the same time, the heels have a bitch. Hey, we won. Well, you wouldn't have won if the referee'd seen such and such. Well, that doesn't count because the referee didn't see it. What's this other referee? There's controversy. That's the way you put shit together, folks. It's not that fucking difficult. Everything that we have talked about, all these matches missing, had in in that match, you had some of it. Huh. And they didn't even do an afterbirth. Imagine that. Is that unusual? What about it, Tom Jones? What'd you think? I thought it was great. I loved it. The crowd was eating it up. Again, hot crowd in Seattle. And they loved this, and that elevated the match even further. Obviously, Jeff Jarrett gets a lot of credit, and you're putting it all on him for putting a match together. But I think the acclaimed, it's one of their most impressive outings. Again, it's not an FTR yeah, kind of match. No. But what they were able to do and get the room behind him, that match with them against Swerve and Keith Lee at the pay-per-view, where they didn't win the belts, so much of the story was about the crowd getting behind them and wanting it. And then they kind of got away, and I don't know. There was a different energy for a little while. This was the crowd really wanting these guys to win and really being into the match. Yeah. And great match, and I'm going to say it here. There are moments that are misses, and we didn't have a six-man match on this show. And last week, there was an Orange Cassidy promo coming out of two good matches. And I didn't like the post-match in the Jericho thing here. But I've enjoyed Dynamite, by and large, the last several weeks. and. Again, good first match. I really liked it. Didn't like the after match stuff. Really liked this tag match. There was no bad after match stuff. They're here. they're they're dropping some of the clown show elements. And and let me, and let me say this: I, I'm not taking any credit away from the acclaimed. They held up their end. They did their part. I'm saying this was a match that Jeff Jarrett laid this match and finish out. I'm sorry. That's just a fact of what happened. Somebody can argue with me, unless you were there, you don't know, but I do know because I know what the fuck I'm seeing normally and what the fuck I'm seeing from Jeff and have for 20 years. He laid this match out. But it makes fucking sense. And everybody liked it. You know what doesn't People make sense couldn't still? have fucking screamed any louder. Go ahead. You know what doesn't make sense still? Okay, Jeff and Lethal, they're together for whatever reason. Sanjay was with Lethal already. He's with them. 
too goofy for me as a manager, although I thought he was good at ringside here. Again, the timing of him getting the foot off the rope was perfect. But what's up with the Giant? Why did they bring him on TV now, put him with them, and then he still doesn't do anything? And I no one wants to see him wrestle. I'm telling you, it is. It, I think it's just his ethnicity. And Sanjay's is the only read because somehow Tony thinks that 5 billion people in India or wherever are going to watch because he's walking around in a fucking ill-fitting suit. I have no idea. But anyway, 